So, so now disclaimer, disclaimer, past profits don't guarantee future results, but this is when I initially uh, started out in the forex market, one of my mentors gave this to me. So I'm going to pass this on to you um, because a lot of times they talk about, people talk about having a trade strategy, trade strategy, trade strategy, trade strategy, but do you have a financial strategy? Do you have a profit plan? And I think a lot of times if people would have, would have this, I think that they would they would understand risk management better and understand how money money compounds and this profit plan is 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 is, is pretty aggressive um but i'm gonna show you the power i'm leading all this to the power of the harmonic scanner to show you what you can accomplish with this harmonic scanner because it's the same harmonic scanner that has me right now destroying destroying a prop firm contest destroying it and they they're, they're trying to figure out what my edge is and my edge is the scanner. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you guys this real quick. So here you have an initial investment of $500. So you see up here to the left, you have an initial investment of $500. Don't worry about the weekly total investment because that's dealing with the brokers and what they actually hold in transactions. And you guys are going to learn that um, as you go through the academy. But this, this trade, this starts out with a dollar a pip. One dollar, one mini lot, okay? And it's at 100 pips per week. Right now, remember I told you a lot of people struggle to make a hundred pips per week. So what I want you to do is look down this this list, right? First first five weeks, and you see that you're trading at a dollar per pip, just one dollar, right? At a hundred pips per week, it's getting you a hundred dollars in income. Okay. So what this is called, when you look at the the the, the amount per pip over the first five weeks, that's called a fixed a fixed lot size, okay, as opposed to a variable, right? And you're gonna learn all that. But if I'm just trading at a dollar per pip at 100 pips per week, in week six, I've now more than doubled that account. I've more than doubled that account. Now, type me, drop me a three in the chat if you can see that we more than doubled this account in, in six weeks. And drop me a three if you think that that's, that's pretty good. Okay. So now look at look at week six through eleven, and now look at the look at the what you're trading per pip. Now we're up to two dollars per pip, and this is key. I want everybody to focus in on this, okay? Because this is this is what's really going to help you as a, as a new and beginning trader, and even even a veteran who may be struggling to find a consistency right now. So we're now up to two dollars a pip, but you see that there's only a hundred pips per week still. Can everybody see that? This is the power of compounding. Now I'm making $200 a week. Look at what we're doing weeks 11 through 14, through 16. Can everybody see that? And I hope what everybody's seeing in this is the consistency, the steady accumulation of your money. Your bank's not doing that for you. Your job's not doing that for you. See, I do, I do consulting work. And one of the things that we do is we go into organizations and they have leadership problems, they have management problems, they have morale problems, and we go in and we solve their problems. And one of the issues that we find is that everything in the workforce, your regular nine to five, is moving towards performance, 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 right? We want everybody to perform. I even hear clients say in leadership, we want them to run this like it's their own business. But the problem is that the performance platform that they put together as far as the production they want does not match what they actually pay. It's not a level playing field. They want more production, but they don't want to pay you accordingly. See, this is a game in the Forex market where if you perform well, you're going to get paid. And when I talk about perform well, I'm not even talking about winning 50% of your trades, right? So, you can see here that it doubles. Look at it double on itself, right? Weeks 11 through 16 at $4 a pip, still just 100 pips, okay? Now, you can even say, right, and you're going to see the power of the scanner, which is where all of this is going. You can go back up to week one and say, you know what? I don't want to trade at a dollar a pip. I want to trade at 50 cent a pip. Well, you know what you do? You set your goal for 200 pips a week, and you're running at 200 pips a week. See, and that's the power of the education of I Am Mastery Academy is that we're gonna teach you how to master catching those little things, those fractions of a penny called pips. 
that's the game, baby. Catching those pips. And that's what we, we're, we're masters at teaching people how to do that. Not only do it once or twice, but do it consistently. Now, I'm going I'm to click through this here for the sake of time. And look, look, look at week 36. Same 100 pips. Right? Any light bulbs going on? Drop, drop me, drop me, drop me a, a, a six in the chat. If, every, if everybody sees how this is compounded. Right. So if, if, if you get in your back office and get your education and get on Go Live TV, which is this, the Netflix for, for trading, the sports center for trading, if you spend the time and put the time in, you are literally going to learn how to compound your money. And the more you learn how to catch pips, the less risk you have to take. I hope everybody is seeing that. The more you can catch pips, the less risk you have to take. Right. So that's why this skill is important. You are literally training to legally print money. That's what I like to say. Now, let's go to weeks 45. Does everybody see this? Same 100 pips compounding. So the next time you jump on the charts and you got that $1,000 account and you want to trade at a standard, I want you to think about this. I want you to think about this. Now, let me get off of this and go to the scanner. Okay. So, John, can, can you see my screen? Is the scanner up? Yes, sir. Okay. So, let's move on to the powerful harmonic scanner. The harmonic scanner is an algorithm that's going to show you high probability trade setups in the Forex market. These are setups that a lot of traders on their own struggle to find at times, especially during periods of what we call consolidation, right? The, the scanner is gonna scan this market for you 24 hours a day, five days a week. So when the Forex market is open, the scanner is up and running. And this is brilliant because when I did my research over the years, this is what a lot of Forex professionals like Mr. Christopher Terry, this is what they'll do hey, I'm great at this. I'm an expert at this now. What if I could, could create a computer algorithm, work with a programmer to think like I do and find that trade setups in the market? You can do your research. A lot of them use algorithms modeled on how they think, how they find setups in the market. So you, you literally are looking at a computer algorithm that is going to work for you day and night to find you these setups. Now, one of the things that a lot of new traders, they, the mistakes that they make is they think that the more you trade, the more money you make. That is not true. That, that, is, that is not true. The more you trade, the more money you make. That is not true. There's times where I might place three or four trades a week and make five and 600 pips in the market with no problem. And the reason is because of this. This is the scanner. So the first thing I'm going to show you is that this system is very, 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 very easy. If you shut this off and you had all the drawn tools, this is a this is a regular naked chart. Where the scanner comes in is that the forex market is a market that is is very simplistic. Why? Because it is $6.3 trillion traded a day. It is very liquid. It is very flexible. There's always buyers and sellers. But because of the volume in the Forex market, it has a high percentage of frequently repeatable patterns. Please understand that. The patterns are repeatable in the Forex market. I know a lot of you have heard that the market does the same thing over and over again because it does. Because it does. And so the scanner is constantly scanning the market to find these patterns. So you don't have to listen to me. You don't have to. Now you're going to work your way through the 100 series all the way through the 400 series. I hope you guys are there studying hard. It is the plat best platform in Forex, the best platform. Trust me. I know I'm not saying it because I've been a part for so long, but it's because I've seen a lot of other systems, the value that you get, the amount of videos that you get in the education that you're getting, 
you're getting a degree in Forex. Don't let nobody tell you different. Now, so this is very, very simple. We're looking for those high probability reversal setups. It found it for us. I didn't have to do time frame analysis on a monthly, the weekly, the daily, the four hour. I didn't have to do any of that. It did it. And what it found here is this is the New Zealand dollar versus the Japanese yen on a one hour chart. It said, hey, this price has been going north. Price has been pushing to the upside. Now price is set to reverse. Historically, this is when the sellers are coming into the market and selling. You should think about selling, okay? So when you see the green line at the top, it is a sell. So when you see the green and the red line at the top, it is a sell. When you see the green line and the red line at the bottom, you are looking to buy. The scanner is telling you that the market is going up. It is very, 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 very simple. Green and red at the top, sell. Green and red at the bottom, buy. Okay? And it even tells you, here's my entry. Here's my stop. Because if you're going to play around in the forex market, you have to know, disclaimer, disclaimer, if you didn't know, that you will lose some trades. But this good thing about this scanner is that it sets you up so sweet with your risk to reward that you do not have to make and win every trade to make money. If I'm only risking $20 for every 60 that I win, I only have to win three out of 10 trades to make money. Drop me a one in the chat if everybody understands that, the power of risk management. awesome so what i am telling you is that there are only a few things that you are responsible for it's already protecting your backside with the stop It's giving you these lines right here these these tps that means take profit It's giving you these take profit coordinates right here and showing you exactly where you should be thinking to take profit very 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 simple so all you have to do is say okay i'm gonna learn a couple of entry techniques that can give me the edge. So even though the scanner is either, either even 75, 80% accurate on the trades, which is unbelievable, right? I'm gonna gain an extra edge. And that's what usually, that's what all these different strategies, all this stuff, all these crossovers and all of these blue line crossing off the red line. This is, all of this stuff is really just surrounding around. How do I gain an extra edge? How do I win a higher percentage? of my trades but the scanner already does a superb job at winning a higher percentage of the trip most of the trades anyway right so this is this is all about just gaining the extra edge but the bottom line is is that the, the scanner is simple everything is already built in if you've been trading for a while and you've been going through the academy and you're learning about elliott wave if you learn about fibonacci it's there already it's already programmed in and I'm not going to go into detail about that tonight, but what I would definitely like to do is for us to get together, you know, more often, and then we can go step by step and kind of like just slowly, gradually move people into exactly, you know, everything that I'm doing to, to gain the edge. Again, like this, this instrument right here has me right now blowing away a prop, a prop firm contest, de destroying it destroying the contest because of the accuracy of this scanner. So here's, here's the tips that I'm gonna give you guys tonight on this. And this is something that I want you all to take a look at to really get your eyes trained on the market, okay? There is a, take notes, there is a five candle combination that we look for that's going to help us enter trades write that down a five candle combination and this is going to be the first part of what i'm going to teach you guys tonight okay don't want to overwhelm anybody just want to show you walk you through step by step and to totally build this out for you guys okay can everybody see where this D point is. Drop me a D in the chat. If everybody sees this D point that's right at the entry. Okay, cool. Everybody sees it. Now look, anytime
price is setting up to reverse, okay, in the market. The market works in what we call highs and lows, okay? And for you people just getting in and you're in your 100 series, you're going to talk about support and resistance. And I'm going to show you the foundation of what establishes support and resistance. Now, I know you guys hear all the time, the market formed a high, the market formed a low. What I'm going to show you tonight, and this is going to be key to your entry, is what 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 constitutes a high and what constitutes a low okay so here we have this candle this long blue candle okay and you see that like that high wick right there okay now i want you to follow right after me one candle to the left two candles to the left you see this you got two candles to the left of this center candle and they're lower than this center candle okay now over here you got two candles one candle to the right two candles to the right can everybody see that drop me drop me drop me a why in the chat if you, everybody can see that formation Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay. So you you got you got to see it. This is what constitutes what we call a swing high, a swing high. Okay. So when a market forms a high of resistance, it's really going to solidify itself as a level of resistance when you have a center candle, and you have two candles to the left and two candles to the right that are lower than that center candle. Does everybody see that? All right? I want to walk you through this slowly, okay? Because if you can start to see this, you can start to do a lot of damage in this market, okay? Let's scroll here, okay? Let's talk about a low, okay? Get your eyes trained. Look. You see this right here? You have a center candle. That's the low. You have two, one, two candles to the left, one, two candles to the right that are higher than this center low. Can everybody see that? Drop me a one in the chat. I got to make sure everybody following me. Okay. That is what constitutes a low. This can save you from a lot of problems in this market. Look, if this candle right? You got one candle. If this candle closes lower than this lowest candle, you do not have a low. You do not have a low, right? So you have to know that. So this is what I want you guys to do. Because a lot of times when I talk to people out the market, they say, oh, I entered a trade and it went through the stop. Well, that's going to happen sometime, but I'm going to show you something that's going to give you an edge. All right. Whenever you get to an entry, and it's saying it's a sell. And we know sometimes it'll call the sell and it's not at the entry yet. We wanna to try to let it make sure that it gets to that entry, right? So rule number one, let's make sure that that price and that candle gets to that entry as close as possible. It might run through it, okay? But we are not going to look to make a move on the trade until the market forms a swing high. So in this case right here, I'm not even thinking about getting into this trade until the second candle right here closes. Look, center candle, two candles to the left, you're automatically gonna have that. And two candles to the right. Once that candle closed, look at the price. You see how it fell off? Because the market formed a high, okay? So these are just signs that you need to be looking for in the market now let's go back for everybody who's new and for those who have been on board and might be a little bit inconsistent and haven't have not used the scanner listen this trade was called benny can ever use on the 15 minute chart too what'd you say oh yeah oh anytime yeah frame. oh oh yeah oh yeah any time frame and, and when we um like when we do this more often uh coach john I'm, I'm gonna show you guys some things with it. Any, any time frame, you wanna look for the market to form a high. 
right? Or low if you're buying. So look, you can scroll through this chart. If I take this off, right? And you go, look, look, you see that low? Look, look at it, look, can't make it up. The market is nothing but the buying and selling habits of people, banks, and institutions, right? And as humans, we all have what? Behaviors. And we all have habits. And they form what? Patterns. Okay? So anytime the market, look, see this? Look, center, two candles to the left, two candles to the right. That formed a low. So if this red candle here, let me blow it up a little bit, would have come down and taken out this low, it's a, it's a downward continuation, right? So these are just signals from the market, right? Look, see my blue candle, that low? Even though that's a bullish candle, you see the low? Two candles to the left, two candles to the right. The market moved, right? Now, what I want you guys to do is practice tonight on your charts, whether you use an MT4 or whatever, and look for your highs and your lows, because this is what we all know about support and resistance, but what creates the support and the resistance? See, the market is like a set of lungs, right? It expands and it contracts. It expands and it contracts, right? So look, here's the high. Look, two candles to the left, two candles to the right. There's your high. Market drops, right? Okay, so let's take it back <clears throat> to the beginning. Now, if we think about that chart that I showed you guys, right? Think about that chart that I showed you guys at 100 pips per week. All right, 100 pips per week. See, one of the things about being a great trader, one of the number one skills that you have to have is patience and the ability to sit on your hands and wait for the setup, right? We always think that we have to be in a trade. But look at, look at this trade setup, right? If you take it, we'll go from entry and just look at the original setup. The original setup, the first TP was close to 70 pips. Think about that. Think, think about the profit plan that I showed you. The second TP is 113 pips. If you were trading at a mini lot, you hit your, you hit your, 100, you hit your 100 pips and you made your 100 bucks for the week in one trade. Now, if you think that's powerful, drop me an eight in the chat if you think that's powerful. See, but a lot of times people don't put the two and two together. That's why I started out with what? we begin with the end in mind, right? So you might be sitting up here thinking, oh, I only made $100 this week. I only made $150 this week. Uh, but that money is compounding. So then if you throw on top of that, hey, every time I get paid, I'm not going to pull money out of my account. I'm going I'm to put $50, $100 in an account. Matter of fact, every time I have a great trading week, I'm going to throw some money. If I have a great training, a trading day, if, if I make my goal, my weekly goal on the first, on, in one trade in two days out of the week, I'm going to pay myself. I'm my own economy. You have to switch the way you think. Because in order for this money to compound and for this to pay off for you, you, you want to leave that money in there, reward yourself every now and again, but you ultimately want that money to compound. So a lot of people think, that it's impossible to build a, a, take a small amount of money and build it, but it's really because when they look in the mirror, they lack the discipline. Flat out, plain and simple. I, I'm, I'm, I'm really a straight shooter, right? I don't, I don't really mess around and sell a lot of fluff, right? So here, so this trade went all the way to take profit three, okay? That's 184 pips, okay? So let's do the math on it. Let's say, and I'm going to show you guys a little trick. What I do is I split my trades up. And there's people, anything, a lot of what I'm telling you is nothing new under the sun. When you talk about our, 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 our um, I Am Mastery Academy educators, you're talking about the best in the business, okay? So a lot of this, they're going to tell you the same thing. It's just a matter of whether or not you're listening or not, okay? So if, if what I'll do is say I want to trade at a one mini lot. I'll split that up into three 30 cent trades. So I'm not even at, I'm not even at a dollar. I'm at three 30 cent trades. Okay. Think about this. So if I put in three 30 cent orders, I get in the trade. Okay. That just went 69 pips. Okay. First take profit. First order done. 
right? Because I'm gonna set my I'm gonna set my take profits up on the three orders at each take profit level. So the 69 pips times 30 cent. You just made $20 off that trade. That's 20 bucks, right? The second trade is 115 pips. So I'm gonna take 30 cent times 115 pips. That's $34. Trade goes to TP3, my third trade, okay? And you'll learn in the academy how to move your stops and do all of that. I'm not gonna get in that tonight, but I'm just showing you the power of this tool. That's 183 pips. So 183 pips times 30 cent is $54.90 plus 34 plus $20. You just made $108 off of 30 cents. Where else are you gonna do that? If anybody know, if anybody know, please tell me. And you can do that consistently. Off of a 30 cent trade. But I know people with $500 accounts trading standards. What sense does that make? Stop it if you're doing it. Because you don't, you don't, you, you, you ought to want to be disciplined with this system. It's doing all the work for you. It's doing all the work for you, right? So we're gonna wait for this market to form a high. On this on this particular trade in the sell, we like to see that market form a high. Say, for example, this second candle hit the take, hit the take, hit the hit that first take profit, move on to the next trade. Do you see all of these these <laughs> these uh these setups here that come in, right? Wait for the next trade setup. Don't jump into trades. And, and, and go outside your trade plan, right? So the main thing you want to do is you want to look for a high, okay? What we call a swing high. Now, the second element that you want to add, which I'll show you an educator here real in a minute that is a, is an expert at this, that's in IML, right? In uh, IM Mastery. You take this and you draw a trend line. Okay, like so, okay? You could draw your trend line and then you could draw your inner trend line off of that, okay? So here's your outer trend line. You could draw an inner trend line. Here's my inner trend line coming off of this, like this, okay? You could draw your inner trend line because you want it to reflect and draw off of the high point. Forgive me, I use another trading software. So I'm kind of rusty at my trading view skills. But so now, not only do I have a high that formed at the entry, and then for example, I have a trend line break. So now my trend line has broken and look at the price, right? So let's go through, okay? Uh, let's find a Euro NZD. This is when I'll show you guys how to, how to get in, but you can see right here, Right, this is a perfect example of one that missed. And as we go through some weeks, I'll show you guys exactly how to play this still. Because once the trend line broke on this, it took off to the downside. But answer this question for me. Just, just, just give me a Y or N for no. Did this market, here's our D point. Did this market form a high, a swing high, the five candle combination, before it hit the stop loss? Yes or no? Did, did, did we get that official high before the stop loss was hit? Yes or no? Exactly. So we should have never been in the trade, right? Can we agree on that? We should have never been in the trade. You got a minimum entry, a maximum entry, you never, you see how, look, look at this high right here. You see how that second candle went above it? That high didn't form. You had a high here and then it continued, it formed another high and then it dropped. But you did not get a high to form before your stop loss. So if we played by those rules, we never would have been in a trade. Drop me a Y in the chat if you understand that. This is the importance of rules. This is what the IML educators, the IM Mastery Academy educators teach you. Rules, rules-based trading. 
So when I when I talk to people and they say, "Oh, I took this trader to hit my," did did you did you stick to your rules? Because if you do not stick to your rules, you're going to lose your edge. But you can see once the trade topped out, right? And then some other things we'll we'll learn down the road. I'll show you the key on once it topped out from the high and broke a trend line, right? Hey Benny. Hey, Benny. Yep. Yep. Someone, someone's wrote. Should you wait to the second candle stick to form before you enter into the trade? Yep. Wait for it to wait for it to close. So you want that second candle to close. Okay. And if you want to be your, your rules come in and your, 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 your confluence, right. And your signals is what gives you confidence in the trade. Right. So you can win a high percentage of these trades just off that one rule. But if you add a trend line to it and say, I need a high, I need an official how to form before the stop, right? I need an official high, and I need a trend line break. There's your setup. And as we as we move along and we become more advanced, and you spend time in the academy, you're gonna get so good that you're gonna say, all I need is the scanner to do is to give me the signal, and I'll take it from there, right? So. On my other platform, on my other platform, like if you use TradingView or MT4, you will learn to draw this up, right? Draw your trend line. Literally, all you have to do is go on your other platform, draw your trend line, look for the how to form. And when you get that trend line break, take the trade. So I always, no matter if the, if the signal hits the stop or not, I always draw, the, draw it up on my other platform because I know the scanner has me in the right area. It's just a matter of when it's going to happen. You get me? It's just a matter of when it's just a matter of when it's gonna happen. I could go through these so many of these and show you where okay, it stopped out because the 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 stop loss is being based on proper risk to reward ratios and proper risk management, right? So sometimes that stop is tight to protect you. But if you keep that, if you keep it drawn up and you keep an eye on it, it'll do just what it did. Look what it did once it once it dropped, right? So you got a break, a retest, this thing then dropped. 294 pips, right? What was on the fine, on the profit plan? What was the goal? 100 pips? Drop me a 100 in the chat if you guys remember that, right? It was 100 pips. See, so look at for example, look look at this look at the pound cat. Look at the pound cat. Look at the hot edit form. Right? It's clear as day. Two candles to the left, two candles to the right. It hit the maximum entry point. It almost got stopped out, but then it dropped off a cliff. If you draw a trend line break, look. Repetition is the mother of all skill. You draw a trend line break, look, all day long. That's 193 pips. You didn't have to look for these setups. Besides risk management, what stops a lot of traders from becoming consistent is they do not have the ability to find the consistent setups in the market. You have an algorithm that, that's finding that for you. I seen a scanner on the market that just gave you the pattern. No entry, no stop, no take profits, and it was almost $3,000. You get it in your base package for a 235 buy-in. Are you kidding me? I, 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 want, I want you guys to let that marinate for a little bit. This is in your base package. We're almost over a thousand hours of go live TV per month. That's recorded, by the way, in case you miss it. So you could be riding your bike, sitting in the car, right? Jump on Go Live TV. You have a scanner. You have education up to a 400 level. I showed you guys the profit plan. And then I showed you guys how you can set this up off of 30 cents and make a killing. 
Build a belief in yourself. What's your car note? Three hundred dollars. Start shooting to make three hundred dollars in the market, and watch how fast you be you build your belief. This is serious. This is life changing. This is a this is this is a legacy. I know right now that if my young kids, if I raise them and teach them how to do this, they're good. They're good. If they want to go to college, fine. They could be in the dorm rooms trading. So you keep the same stock loss on that, uh, Benny, or do you adjust it or what? Yeah, I, 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 uh, I don't want to get into the adjusting right now. As we, as we move through, I'll show people how to do that. But you can literally keep the same stop loss because the key is proper risk management, right? So, so you, you right now, while you're learning the basics, keep your stop loss and everything the same, but trade small. So what if it's 20 cent, 30 cent? I just showed you how that can compound, right? It's about learning how to catch the pips. The scanner has you set up in the, in the perfect position, right? So don't be afraid to trade at 20 cent, 30 cent, 40 cent. You could make a killer off of 50 cent a pip in this market, right? We just worked through one and did the math. And as we work through, we'll learn how to adjust the stop loss and everything else. But the bottom line with stop losses is say, okay, what's my risk? You always start off in the Forex market, take a note, with what you can afford to lose. If, you, if you're starting out with what you can afford to gain, you're gonna get burnt every time. Because that what you can afford to lose is gonna say, okay, my stop loss, my stop loss, is 30 pips, 40 pips, right? And I only want to risk 2% of my account. That's where the math is going to come in. That's where the math is going to come in. So keep your stop loss where it is for now, because these are just two simple steps that'll, that you already have the edge percentage-wise with the scanner. But these are just two simple additional steps that'll keep you patient so if that trade decides to run off, right, if the momentum, because there was a lot of, uh, let me find one. There was a lot of, um, that's that one. See like here, see that, how that's starting to correct itself now? But there was a strong fundamental in the market, right, last week with the euro. But did this market ever form a high? Yes or no? Heck no, it didn't. It, did, it didn't form a high until it got up here. Which is where, which is where, the trend line broke, right? Which is where your trend line would have broke, right? Something like that. And now the trade is going to the downside, but it never formed a high. That's what keeps me out of a lot, a lot of the trades that keep running because the scanner is an algorithm. It's, it doesn't play off of emotion. It's not going to play off of sentiment. So if there's a strong fundamental in the market that punch it, that goes on in the market that pushes it the other way then that's just, it, it is what it is. That's where your proper risk management comes in. Come on guys, if you're risking 2% of your account, you gotta lose 50 trades in a row to blow your account. Is that ever gonna happen with this scanner? Absolutely not. This is what I just said. If you're risking 2% per trade on your account, you have to lose 50 trades in a row to blow your account. If you're risking 3% per trade, you would have to lose 33 trades in a row to blow your account. So if you got a little bit of money and you bet in a house and you blow your money and you blow your account in one trade, please replay this recording and listen to what I just told you. You should never, ever, ever blow your account. We've all been through it. We've all been through it. So learn from us that have been through it. The, the scanner is the perfect tool for a new trader to get started because it's going to give you a certain amount of trades per week. It's going to stop you from over trading. You should not be over leveraged in these trades. And you will make money. I cannot tell you, maybe in the beginning when I was new and I was, and I was doing the same silly stuff when I was new with it, taking the risk, but I cannot tell you when the last time I've had a losing week with the, with the I am Mastery Academy harmonic scanner. You can't make this stuff up. It's sitting right here in front of everybody's face. This is the real deal. This is the best trading software on the planet, bar none. And for a new trader coming in and it's giving you your stop loss, it's giving you your, in, your entries, you got the IM Mastery Academy, you got people coaching you up, showing you, 
right, how to do this, right? If you're looking for um, somebody who really does well with the scanner, it is, uh, was it Videsh? Wall Street Wednesdays, fund of, right here, Fundamentals Web Scanner on Thursdays, Bees Mode. Check them out. And think about it. This platform is so awesome that if you miss them, it's recorded anyway. Just click on them. You're right there. Favorite sessions. Look, no other platform on the planet that's doing this. Okay? Take a screenshot of that, this guy, right? Several other educators who use the scanner, but this guy, when he goes over that fundamentals for the scanner, great training, great training, okay? Use what you invested in. But listen, here it is for the night to wrap it up. Get your swing high, right? Or your swing low if you're in a buy. Let it hit entry. Look for that hotter form. Two candles to the left, two candles to the right. And then next step, add that trend line on there. If you want to learn how to draw trend lines, you're new to trend lines, guess what? 100 series. I am Mastery Academy. We got your back. Learn how to draw your trend line. And this is literally all you have to do. Set your orders in, right? Learn how to use the stop loss. Move it when once the trade gets going, right? A moving stop loss that you adjust when it goes down, right? All in the IM Mastery Academy. In and then, like case, I said, go Benny, ahead. I'm sorry. Benny, in this case, can you show somebody put something in the chat about how do you determine the trend line that you're marking up? Can you just show oh. them how that line goes right there? Yeah. Show them. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. So when you're drawing a trend line, okay, you want to find the low. And it's and this is another thing that's super easy about this, is because this C to D leg is along where you're gonna draw that trend line. Okay. So what you do with a trend line, it's like this. It's like a table. Think about it. If you have a table and a table has two legs on it, right? And if, 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 you, if, if one of the legs came through the top of the table, it would be a bad table, right? So what you want to do is you want to think of these little wicks, right? You want to think of these little wicks right here, this low. That's that table leg. And the reason why I use that analogy is because we never – go through the wick, right? The leg of that table never goes through the top of the table. So what you do is you take it here like this, your trend line, move this out of the way. Take your trend line and you place it on that wick and you extend it like this. Oops, hold on. And you extend it like this and you bring it all the way up until it touches. See this here? See how we extended it and it moved all past this here and it extended like this. Because your trend line helps you determine your direction. It helps you determine your speed of the market and it can help you determine the, the entry. And what I mean by speed of the market is that when a trend line gets broken, when it's drawn properly, you're looking at a reversal and you're looking at the momentum starting to shift in the other direction. So you find this low and you draw just like this. And you want it to come up through the highest point in that trend. So that's why I'm drawing it through here because here's my highest point up here. Okay, so like this, and then I'll squeeze the chart down. See, like that. So here, and this is where it broke. Here's my highest point, right? So I'm not gonna do this. This was my highest point. It takes a little practice but I'm gonna draw it through that highest point because then that's the true representation of when that trend line broke. And you can see when this trend line broke, look, bang, right? So the main lesson in this is we do not, we do not draw trend lines through wicks because the wicks actually, actually, which is this, this line right here, right? Okay. The wick actually represents where price was at one point. So we're never gonna draw a line through our wick because price could return there. So like if I'm here like this and I got this here, I'm gonna start at this wick and I'm gonna pull it out and I'm gonna go down, right? Let me uh, reset and zoom out a little bit. Like this. So if I got this wick here, I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna pull it all the way out 
and you see my lowest point right there, that means I'm gonna put this trend line straight through here like that. See that? Because that's my lowest point. And now look, I got a trend line break. And trend line breaks are very, very important in the market. Did that help? I hope that I hope that helped. Yeah, I think I think it did. Okay. And that's that take that take that takes that takes uh practice, a little practice to see it. Um but that's something you could do. Uh, well, I can't take these off on here on this system, but that's something you can just go through your charts and scroll through and, and work on and work on. So like here, that width right there. And it just shows you the clear shift in momentum in, in the breaking direction, right? And then what's cool is that when you, when you draw trend lines really well, you know, as long as it stays below this trend line, it's selling off. When it breaks, when it breaks and you see that it can make a higher high, that's when it's like, okay, I got, I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of this trade. See, but you split when you when you use a trend line, you're splitting your market into two zones. In this case, anything below the trend line is your sell zone. Anything above it is a buy zone. So trend lines are very very powerful. This is simple Benny, tools, right? You, you can, somebody, yeah, somebody's asking when it breaks the trend line, you can take the trade. Break with a candle close. You want that candle to close. So, like for example, that's a great question. Great question. So like right here, off of this trend line that I drew up right here. You see that candle close on the backside of that trend line? Mm -hmm. See that? That's a candle close. So even though it pulled back, look what it did, right? And nothing is 100%. You're just looking to gain an edge in the market and you're looking to stick to rules. So it's like, it could be, if you don't have rules, it'll drive you crazy. Cause you'll just be like, mm, I, I, it looks like this trade is going down. Even though it didn't close on the backside of the trend line, I'm going to take it. And then it bounces right off this trend line and goes north. And now you're complaining that the market maker's trying to get you in that Forex as a scam, right? When you didn't, you just didn't stick to your rules, plain and simple. Anytime I've ever got myself in trouble in this market is because I didn't, I didn't stick to my rules. Fear and greed to get you, man. So it's a great question. Any, what other questions do we have? Um, somebody said, can you make sure the money chart is available? I'll make sure I get that to everybody. It's on yeah, I get it. Yep, because because you could use that um, fundamentally, and you can you can adjust it and make your own. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, so but it's just something. Do they, do they to keep their broker uh, through Trader's Way or what? You know, is it, how does it, how, does it make a difference with brokers? Someone is asking. No, no, no. That's why we don't. That's why we don't recommend brokers. You know, because it, it don't. The brokers um, here. What it is is just there could be slight price differences on the different brokers, but it don't it don't for you know it don't matter. Sometimes if you ever see like a a different trade a different trade spotted on a broker that you don't see on the other one, it's just because that slight that slight price difference created a created a harmonic gave the the go ahead for a harmonic pattern. That's all. That's all. Like I I just. It was on traders way it don't it don't really too much it don't really too much matter hey listen man i got one other question man i know you're a big buckeyes yep. fan there's another guy who's a buckeyes fan on <laughs> i am he, i am he said does he use alerts to know to uh to know to keep up with the trend line breaks and when to enter yep 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 on my um and i believe trade view does it too um but when i go let's say on my platform here on my uh, my smart trader platform, Trading View does the same thing. Like I could just set an alarm, so I go here and set an alarm. And what I'll do is I'll say, okay, because I wanted to yell at me and scream at me, so I have the alert, and then I'll go. I wanted to go to my phone, my email, all that good stuff, and then it says one hour chart, and I'll put CTL for counter trend line break like that, counter trend line break sell, and then a lot of times I'll put. Um, my prices in there, like my TPs, my entries, and my stops. So if I'm out and on a move and I see that that happen, first I'll go on my phone and um, and look and see, okay, it broke the trend line. And then however I set my, my strategy up after that. And then um, like I'll, I'll, I'll look to get into it. So yeah, I do set alerts and wait for trend line breaks. I do. I do. Yep. Good question. So you can see like even with the questions coming in, it, it doesn't even require much. Okay, you put an alarm on your trend line, right? You do a few few things, but the the, the scanner had the scanner has you the rest of the way. 
Scanner has you the rest of the way. It gave it gave you it gave you everything. See one thing. Everybody. One thing I love about the the scanner is you know for one it comes in your IM membership. You don't have to yep. pay anything extra for it. Um, and you know people are looking at all these different strategies, and I always tell them like this. Listen, this thing has paid me for four years. All you got to do is learn how to use it. And I think one thing you said that was very important, and I think that was one of the things I struggled with in the beginning was hold on. Let me let me let me put myself on the screen so so my main man Clyde can see he can see this. <laughs> so, but one of the things I, I had a problem with was, um, you know, patience. And I think mm -hmm. that's one of the things that you have to, to really, you know, check yourself with is the patience just going into a trade just to be trading instead of waiting for the trade to come to you. You know what I mean? So yep. um, I think that was something very important you said, because I was talking to one of the good, one of the good friends who's a good trader in the company, uh, you know, Randy Webb. Oh he said, yeah. Man, he said, I'm only making four trades a week. Yep. You know, sometimes not even, just two. And I mean, yep. he, he's catching mad, you know, mad pips with, uh, you know, long moves on them. And that, that makes it a little, a little more stress-free for you, for one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Two, it's not like you looking at your phone every three seconds. You know what I'm saying? So it, it, exactly, ex exactly. And it's like, you could catch that, that same hundred pips that you didn't, that you didn't did 10 trades catching 10 pips. You can catch that same hundred pips pretty much on autopilot trading trading off this scanner and now all you're doing is just managing the trade you're right. just you're just managing the trade moving my stop down in the profit like usually when i launch um uh, three trades i'll break it up i'll do my risk management and everything i'll break it up so say i'm trading at three dollars a pip i'll three trades at a dollar right and when that first trade hit take profit then i'm moving all my stops to break even so i got a risk-free trade lawrence a risk-free trade for, for the other two pips that are still that are still active right like it's it's unbelievable like if you if you work if you're working this is the system this is when you literally once you get everything set up this is when you literally are trading from your phone <laughs> like literally everything is set up and running and if i already know for example on that three dollar pit uh three dollar uh a trade trade that i said okay i got three orders in I already know that if they hit stop, I already did the math. I'm only gonna lose two percent, for example. So now I'm not even sweating it. I already know I'm losing two percent. If I lose, I'm losing two percent. I'm losing one percent. Traders that make a lot of money doing this thing, they only risk like one percent, half percent. It's crazy. But this 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 system gives you the, the risk to reward setups that will allow you to make a lot of money and you don't have to risk a ton of money to to compound it. I, to me, it's the best, it's the best trading system ever ever created. To me, I mean, like you said, you'd have made money for four years. Like th th this is this is all I need in my life. And I, you know me, I know how to do top down you know, analysis and everything else. I don't need it. I don't need to you know, do it. You know what's crazy though, man? You see some of these people, <laughs> and they think they're the Wolf of Wall Street, man. And I say, well, send me a screenshot of what you've done. And it's just like you said in the beginning. They got a thousand dollar account, doing mm -hmm. standards, two standards. I'm like, what are you doing? And then yeah. You wonder, you know, because I tell people, you're not a trader. You you will get baptized. Yeah, yeah. Like people, I call that the great <laughs> baptism. And you go, you will get baptized. I mean, you're not a yeah. trader who lost money, you know. But it's always just a lesson. Yeah. But I see people who do, who get super risky with very small accounts. It's like, well, why are you trying to chop a tree down with one swing? One swing. Chop a tree down one swing at a time, man. Instead of trying to just get it all, like you get, you know, like you're trying to go from from a thousand dollar account to a Bentley tomorrow. No, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. Yeah, I, I was, I, it's, it's, uh, it's unbelievable. I was up on a, it was a cat yen from the scanner. Cause I sent my buddy of mine that I used to work with, I sent her a screenshot and it was the cat yen and it was it the Euro JPY or something. I think I was in at $2 a pip. I was up like $700 man. at $2 a pip on two, on two, two orders. Because, because I, the trade just ran, and I and I just managed the trade at too many lots, man, too many lots, and people out here, like you said, Wolf of Wall Street, like for what, for what, for what? Don't don't do it to don't do it to yourself, because you're gonna look back when you figure it all out, and you're gonna be like, man, I finally learned my lesson, and I didn't blew eleven thousand dollars, and I could have been like. I could have doubled and tripled that eleven thousand dollars by now if I just wait. If you could take twelve hundred dollars, which you could do off this system I've done it, 
in 90 days, you can take a $200 account and flip it to 10 grand. You in there. You in there. Like, come on now. And, and, and that, that's not even trading a standard. Yeah, when I do when I do my presentations, I usually tell people, you know, your thing is just to beat the bank right now. And, that's it. You know, just like I tell people all the time when I first used the swipe trades, and I copy and pasted and made, you know, seventeen dollars on the swipe trade. Well, mm -hmm. past results don't guarantee me future profits. But mm -hmm. you know, Fifth Third Bank, you know, had my money in one particular account for a whole year, and at the end of the end of the year, they sent me a statement that I made seventeen dollars on my money. So I just gave you an interest free loan. Yes, you, you did. My money in the same market as we're showing you right now. It's like you need to learn how to how the banks work, and it makes sense to be a, become your own bank where you're in total control. And that's why you know you're not gonna learn how to do this in 30 days. No. Well, people are broke their entire life and expect that they don't get rich in 30 days with this. And they you know endurance. And people always hear me say it. One of my biggest you know things with leadership, you can learn a lot of different things, but one thing you can't teach is endurance. You mm -hmm. got to have endurance to finish this thing. You got to mm -hmm. have, have endurance to say you know what. It's 18 months, two years down the road, you know, I'm still at it because you don't know everything. Once you think you know everything, you don't know anything. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying so the endurance of this thing is so, so powerful, but you're going to, you're going to learn a lot about yourself and you got to reprogram yourself after falling. It's like riding a bike. You mm -hmm. fall off that bike a few times. You take that tr those training wheels off. Uh, you're going to scrape the knees up. You're going to do it all. Right. But eventually you're going to be at a, it's going to be smooth sailing, but, it's going to be a time where you have to reprogram yourself and let that, you know, get out of the fear mm -hmm. it and just following the system. Because if you work a system like this, or, you know, I've one of the strategies I use, it works. And a lot of people like it as well too, but run with something and run it till the wheels fall off. All this jumping all over the place and being on hundred yeah. strategies. And it's like, that's why people are so lost in the sauce mm -hmm. because you keep focused on who made what you know, somebody made this amount of money. What's your strategy? Somebody made this mm -hmm. money, what's your strategy? And right before you about to get the damn thing, right? Mm -hmm. You off on a whole nother, you know, you about to, right before that light bulb about to go off. Yep. Somebody say, well, I've been doing it this way. Let me see this. Find one thing and work, run, run that joker to the wheels fall off that piece. To the, to the, okay. Hey, that, that's what I'm doing with this scanner. That's why I always say this is the original Model T. <laughs> and I mean that. I love it. Yep. Good stuff. Well, let me ask you a question. Uh, I'm sure, sure a lot of people on the call right now are probably saying, you know, can we, you know, can we do this more often? Yeah. You mind, uh, you mind for the next uh, month or so, and we just take it from there. See, if we maybe every Tuesday. Yeah, maybe. absolutely. We we could do it, man. It, it is it is my my pleasure, my honor. It's something I've always wanted to do and work with you, you know, with the team because we want we want everybody to be want everybody to be profitable. We want everybody to be able to enjoy. The fruits of what they've invested in. So I, I'm, I'm in there, man. I'm in there. We could do it. We could do it every week, every Tuesday, and we can just continue to build upon this because once you have this down, like I said, you, you can, you can print money. You can print money. You know, for sure. you know, the, the key is, the key is, ladies and gentlemen, is to be in a position where you can, um, to build your business, mm -hmm. showing the value of the scanner, right? That's yes. the whole thing. So even if you had a guest say, listen, we're going to run you, you know, have a guest come on and just kind of see what this banker software can do for you mm -hmm. and be able to show people the product that they get. And then, you know, Benny always, if you notice, every time he trains, he always edifies the IM platform. He always mm -hmm. edifies the, uh, the, the system that we have. And that's one of the problems we have too. One of the problems we have is we have people who try to expose your team, especially if you're trying to go chairman in the group, let me tell you guys something. I'm going to give it to you straight 100, no chaser. You will not go chairman exposing your team to all these people who are not part of I am. It's true. You will it's not. True. Let me repeat that. You will never go chairman by having your team expose all these other people who are trading, sending you signals, all that stuff. And it is not, hey, they have nothing to do with I am Mastery Academy. All you're doing, ladies and gentlemen, you're giving this, you get something, you're giving them ammunition to turn around and shoot you. Yep, 100% fat. It's like you, you, you're you drilling a hole right in the same boat you're trying to row, trust me. So that's one thing I love about Benny, all his trainings, he edifies the harmonic scanner. Mm -hmm. He's been doing that for three years. He yep. talks about the scanner. So ladies and gentlemen, if you want to build your business, maybe this could be an outlet that we can you know, try, try out and you know, we could just really focus on the power of the scanner and 
you know, uh, maybe it can kind of you know, keep you from, from, you know, falling on your knees a little bit or get, keep those. Yeah. Knees, it's gonna be a, your journey's going to be painful. It's going to be, it's going to be it those. It is. It was for me, man. Those, uh, yeah. I, call them, I used to call them, um, one of my, one of my friends was a big time trader. He used to call them significant emotional events. <laughs> yeah, they, they are. And that's putting it nicely. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, uh, yeah, we have a lot of fun. That's what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, for sure. Well, you can't take this stuff, you know, to the point where you're trying to risk your house. One of, one of the things that people make a mistake with too, uh, Benny, is they, you, people are trying to trade to make money to pay their bills and live on. Yeah. See, when you're in a position where you're chasing, it's like going to the casino and you're down a hundred bucks or 200 bucks. And now you go into the ATM machine and you saying, you know, I'm, I'm going to go get this 200 back that I lost. Man, once you've done that, click, click, boom. It's, it's over. Yeah. It, is, it, is, it is, it is, it is, it is over. And, yeah. and just to pick it back off of what you're saying, like, um, I, I, and I know you don't know this, we never talk about it, but I was interested. One of the things that drove me to become a John Maxwell speaker, trainer, and coach is that at, when I was 22 years old, I was introduced to network marketing. So I fell in love with professional development through network marketing. So one of the things that have written that's really helped me as far as my mindset goes with trading is professional development, personal development. So to me, the network marketing and the philosophies that you teach and the leadership thing, the things that you teach, it goes hand in hand with trading because the number one person that you're always going to have to lead is yourself before anyone else. Right. So, so that, that, that like everything, your philosophy, as far as leadership and perseverance and things that you guys teach on that network marketing side, there is a direct correlation between that and trading. Somebody telling, you, no, I don't want to hear about your opportunity. It's just like taking an L and your, your, your trade hitting a stop that you, you, you have to learn to march right through it. You have to learn how to stick your chest out, pick your head up and believe in the principles of, and what you are learning. 